gold and silver versus a savings account. Which is better? Should you stop saving in a savings account and switch to gold and silver? Let's find out. So my name's Hutch and we're going to get into this. Let's see here. So the average interest rates in 2019 were 0.09%. Um, which if you take this and add the average inflation in, you're actually losing money. Even if we bump this up to 2% as a savings interest rate, um, you're still losing money because the average inflation rate is 3.22%. So the question is, what do we do to, um, incre to stop losing money every year in our savings? Um, before we get any farther into this, I just want to do a quick disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. Uh, I'm just providing information for education and entertainment purposes only. Um, and I will be telling you uh, what I personally am doing. And it is up to you to make the decision on what you want to do and how you want to use your money and spend your money and invest your money. That is all your personal decision. Um, I'm not responsible for your decisions by any means. So with that being said, let's go ahead and continue into this. So first off, when we think about this, we got to think, okay, so what are the what are the big players doing? Um, a good example is Chase Bank. So Chase Bank is basically hoarding over. They have one of the biggest stashes of silver. Let me get over to you. So they have they own over 53% of the silver, of the total 261 million ounces of silver held in their vaults. Um, why are they stacking silver? Because they know it's going to go up. Um, I can go more into the silver stuff, but that's not really what this video is about. Um, right now, I just want to show you why gold and silver may be a better option um, as far as your savings account. And, and it's a better option for me as far as my savings account. And I'm going to show you what, I, what I'm doing and how I'm leveraging it. So let's just do some quick numbers, okay? So let's start with gold. Gold price on January 1st, 2019 was 1200 oh i don't know if i can actually call this i'm not used to using google calculator so you guys are gonna have to give me a second here okay no i can't copy it okay we're gonna have to type it in so hold on one second uh 12 so let's say we bought 12 78 We'll just say we bought 1278.30. So we bought one ounce of gold. Okay. So that's how much per ounce um, for the year. So we bought it at 1278.30 and it was a single ounce. And then at the end of last year, it was at 15.1950. So well, let's do this. Minus 15. What was it? 19. 15, 19, 50. 15, 19, 50. That means you would, let me get rid of that. Uh, actually, I don't know how to do that here. That Ignore the minus sign, I did the numbers backwards, but that means you would have made $241.02. <clears throat> so what does that mean from a um, percentage perspective? Is like, like, for example, your interest rate at your bank account, right? Um, we would 12, oh, I forgot already, 1278.30, 12, 78.3, divided by 15, something, 1950, 1950, which would mean, all right, so I did that a little bit backwards. That would mean you, um, had a 16% increase in your money over that last year. Now, if that same money was in a bank account, you would have lost money. Um, I'm not actually going to run those numbers. You can do it yourself. You can take these numbers at 3% inflation and use that number. Uh, but it means you'd lost money. And there you would have made a 13% increase, right? So how do you create a savings account. Um, one of the biggest things with any kind of financial stuff that I do is I try and find a way to automate it 
and if possible, leverage it. So I'm going to show you how to automate it. Uh, I'm going to show you what I'm doing and why. Um, and you can actually get higher returns than this if you do kind of do what I'm going to show you. So let's go over here. So this is Mint Builders. There'll be, this, there'll be a link in the description below um, for you to get on there. The, our members at Mint Builders get the best prices on the market. Um, actually, I should have logged into this before I... All right, I'm going to log in real quick and then get back on. Hold on one second. All right, now that I'm logged in, um, let me show you how I'm doing this. Um, I'm doing this select few bundle. And what this is, here, let me see, I'll show you a quick view if it'll give me the right description. Um, so this is a MS70 coin, meaning that it's the best mint rating you can get. Um, it's always NGC or uh, right now, for the moment, I'm forgetting the other rating. Let's show those here. All right, so there, all these coins, that's why it's called a select few, is all these coins have a very low mint quantity, meaning they didn't make very many, many of them, and um, they are graded 70, which means that's the highest grading a coin can get. So why am I doing this? This gives me an exponential potential for the value of my silver to increase. These are basically collector's coins. Um, you'll have people out there that tell you don't buy them. Um, and depending on what you're looking for or how you're looking, um, you may not want to buy them. But if it's an MS70, if it's a graded coin, if it has low mintage quantity, that means you have a very good chance of the price of the actual coin itself going up on top of whatever the silver price is that goes up. So I do this. And then the second, the next thing that I do is I buy a bullion. The bullion is like your emergency sale. Collect coins are like your building savings is how I look at it. Um, let me go to bullion real quick. So then I find a, find the cheapest bullion. So this is retail price. Um, when you're a member, you get this price down here. That's why it says your price. So what I look for is this one right here, the random round design. It is the cheapest price you can get. Like if you look up here, hold on, let me scroll up real quick. Where's the ticker? Yeah, here you go. So 1739, right, is the silver price right now. And then if we go down to, sorry, my computer's slow when I record. So if you go down to this random design, silver is at 17.89 cents, right? So you're only paying a few cents over the spot price for this. So I get this and I get that um, select few bundle. With those two, um, you cover both assets of silver, and you can do that with gold also. Um, now, the reason I start with silver is twofold. Uh, one is that it's a lower cost to get into, so it doesn't cost you as much money out up front, especially depending on where you're at in your life. Um, if you can do both, I recommend doing both. But that is the start of the count. The main goal is to do the exact same thing with gold as you're doing with silver here. And that will create a very successful account, in my opinion, savings, silver and gold savings account. So from there, um, real quick, if you want to know how to leverage it, you can actually do exactly what I'm doing and you can be a part of Mint Builders. So Mint Builders, you can, when you get this select few bundle, you automatically get the affiliate back office, sales pages and stuff like that, which I won't go into today, but I just wanted to let you know that this is how I'm actually leveraging it. Um, my main goal is to get to the point where uh, all my sales are paying for all my gold and silver, which exponentially leverages um, my gold and silver savings. So with that being said, um, in my opinion, Doing gold and silver as a savings account rather than putting your money into a bank savings account is by far a better way to go. Uh, I'm here to help you any step of the way. Feel free to reach out to me, message me. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to this channel. You'll get a bunch more information around Mint Builders, gold and silver, um, and also affiliate marketing and building your own economy.
um, I'm going in, going to be going into my actual legacy wealth plan on this channel also, which explains the different avenues to creating different income streams and building my own economy. And I hope you join me. I look forward to hearing, look forward to hearing from you in the comments below. Feel free to ask any questions and the link to Mint Builders to get your silver at the best price in the market. Um, you can actually, I, I may have pop-ups blocked on this browser, but let's find out. Oh, no, hold on. That's not what I wanted. I'm going to show you something real quick. That's really cool. Um, for example, actually, let's see if it'll work. Nope. Yeah, block ups popped or block ups. Block ups. <laughs> pop ups blocked. So um, if you don't have pop ups blocked and you click on this, it'll actually bring you to a competitor's website showing you their price. Now, sometimes they have a better price because they have a sale, but normally, almost every time you click that, our prices are better. And that include and that even includes usually with your membership. So I look forward to hearing from you guys. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions or if you want to join Mint Builders and start creating your own gold and silver business. Talk to you soon.